Hey guys, what's up? Gray here, and welcome back to Mono Game. Today, I will be showing you the last bit of code you'll need to complete the game states. The high score state will be shown as a button on the main menu, as well as after the game. The high score state will basically show your high score in the game and how many of those little boost pads you pick up. So let's get right into this. First, we're going to want to start with our usings, our libraries. So let's do that. Let's paste them there. You can copy them here, or you can copy them on my GitHub. Uh, from the actual file it'll be a link in the description next off uh what we will want to do is do a public class high score state and inherit states sorry just state so then yeah it's going to want us to um implement all of these so we'll just add them in so they're there and uh, let's do the variables first so right here i'm just going to say private list component and we'll call this components. I'll get to any errors uh, at the end of this episode. So we'll do a private sprite font. And we'll call this font so it can load all these scores to the screen. And then we'll have a private score manager to manage those scores. Here we'll generate a constructor and it will just say uh, public high score state and we don't need the list of components or any of this. We'll just say game one, game, and then comma content manager content. And we're going to do that same thing where we uh, do base. And then uh, game comma content. There we go. And then we can just uh, put that down there so it's out of the way. And we don't need anything in here so it can stay like that. And then next we have the load content. So I'm going to put draw down here. I don't like how it mixes them all up. I like all my files to be the same. We got load content and then update. I don't know if there's an issue calling post update under update if we put post update and update but if there is an issue I can change that around so let's do the load content here so we'll say font equals content load right font and this is called font and then we have score manager score manager equals Score manager dot load there we go and next we'll have the var button texture so this will be the button for the main title content or for the actual content page to get back to the main screen so content dot load texture 2d and this will be controls button. There we are. And semicolon. We'll say var button font is equal to content.load sprite font font. Alright, next we'll say components equals new list called component. And here we will say test uh, or new button. So we'll be using those buttons we did for the main menu. And we will say button texture and button font. After this, we'll do more brackets and say text is equal to play again, question mark. We'll say position is equal to a new vector two. Say game one dot screen width. And divide that by two, 560. I think we need a comma here. Yeah. And then after position, we can say click is equal to new event handler. 
button underscore replay underscore clicked. There we go. And after that, we do a comma. And uh, if you wanted to do more layer stuff here, you could say layer equals 0 0.1f. Uh, but I'm not going to deal with that right now. So stick with that and put a comma here and a semicolon there. All right, so we don't have button replay clicked yet. So let's keep moving on. We won't have anything next. Uh, so we're actually going to create the button replay clicked. So we'll say private void button replay clicked. And in here, we're going to say object sender, comma, event args, args. And then in here, we're going to say underscore game dot change state, say new game state, underscore game, comma, underscore content. And that should create a new game state if you were to replay. So then let's do the menu button as well. So private void button main menu clicked. Say object sender event args args just like the last one and then we'll say right in here underscore game dot change state new menu state underscore game content all right and we'll get to any uh issues soon next i'll do the update so in the update i'll say if keyboard dot get state dot is key down we'll say keys dot escape so if you hit escape the escape key we'll just say button underscore main menu clicked say this and new event args perfect and semicolon there and then I'm after that I'll say for each var component components new list component all right so for components in component for component in components we'll say component dot update pass in game time and that should be it for that perfect and then post update isn't going to have anything so we can just get rid of that and then the draw method is the last method we have and it passes in game time and sprite batch so it's perfect so now we can do sprite batch begin so we'll say sprite batch dot begin pass it that and we'll say in here sprite sort mode dot front to back so now it'll sort all these sprites front to back so we can say sprite batch dot end Perfect. And inside here, we are going to want to say for each var component in components, component dot draw, and we'll pass in game time and sprite batch. So after that, we're going to want to um, draw string. So we will say right here, we'll say sprite batch dot draw string. And we'll use font. We'll say high score. Is that, and we can do like a new line. So high scores, new line plus string dot join new line there 
comma score manager dot high scores dot select and this is how we'll get the player so if it is greater than or equal to c dot player name plus and plus c dot value perfect and then we can do new vector 2 and in here we'll say we want a 400 maybe a 100 and color is black all right perfect and then it ends so so far we have done everything we need to do now so i need to go back to game one and make sure no errors which it looks like there's none and if we go in the menu state there's none Go in the game state, there's some content dot load stuff. So let me figure this out and then I'll come right back to it. Alright, here, so I figured out you just gotta do underscore content and it'll work just fine. Underscore content. Underscore content. Alright, so I fixed all of the errors that we had. I added some stuff like uh, more initializing and um, everything is about the same though. Let's go ahead and we are going to import all of the content that we need for this project. So you want to open the Mono Game Pipeline tool and open your build. So I'm in Monotube, open the content. So right now we have Bullet, Car Right, and Power Up. So we're going to need more stuff like the background texture and the font. So let's do File, right click, we'll add a folder here. And right click add existing item we're gonna do button we'll add another one new folder we'll call this button fonts click uh, add an existing item all right now we we'll want to hit build and do rebuild everything should be complete and now we can run here we are. So as soon as we launch the game, we're on the main menu state. I've set the buttons to be right here, and this is actually just a PNG. So I have like a little asterisk style thing in Let's Race uh, that I created in Paint.net. So you can really have anything you want here, and you can put those buttons wherever you want. Um, so if I hit New Game. So I set score as a public class. Uh, and we don't really need any of the other libraries, so I removed those as well. Let's hit play and new game. You'll want to create a new one called component. That's CS. And you'll want to apply all the right usings. This is all you'll need, so I'll have this there in the GitHub. All right, so I'm going to hit play here, and you can see that it's all working. You have the main menu that I was explaining. If you hit high scores, you can actually, it's a little bit jank, but you can see that it says high scores, and we'll have the numbers once you play. And then you can hit replay to continue playing, or just go back to the main menu. And obviously, quick game works too, so just got to show you that. So when we hit new game, I'll show you. It takes us right to the high score page. So if I hit replay, you can see that it instantly shows uh, game over. So what's happening is the timer is just instantly playing through. So let me get the timer to be a little bit longer and then it won't just kill us off right away. All right, so I set is dead to false. So let's do that. There you go. So now uh, don't copyright me, but we'll have all these little setups so you can see here we can't go off the screen we have power-ups um, do they increase the score they do uh, looks like they increase it by two but um, we'll have to look into that so, yeah, so far we have a working 2d top-down racing game look at that see so, yeah, I can collect all those hopefully they can make me speed up because we have our speed set to five pixels right now but we can make it increased if we pick up the um, power-ups. I'll refine this code a bit and post it to my GitHub. But if you did enjoy, please drop a like. I will continue this series and hopefully get a camera working on it or something like that. Maybe 
um, get some bullets working again. Uh, I'll have to implement the old code because I've just been so busy trying to get the game states working. But if you did enjoy, please drop a like. Thank you all for watching and have a nice day.